Okay, to start, we are going to, well, open up your model. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of a given. Let's see. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Who should I do? Let's do... Eh, we'll do Roman. Okay. Wow, I have not updated him in a long time. I should really update my Roman model. Anyway, so you have your model loaded in. Everything's beautiful, beautiful, amazing, cool. Okay, so Roman. Nailed it. Okay, uh, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and save that. Cause Roman Torch Week! <laughs> All right, so we have all of our materials right here, which is bothering me because I have not labeled any of this because it's been so long since I've worked on this model. Okay, we're going to go to morph, and you have all of your morphs here, all of your beautiful Japanese morphs. Wow, that is a lot of facial expressions. I don't even want this dude here. Okay, so... What you're going to do to make a disappearing model is you're going to right click, new morph create, material, and it's going to appear right here at the bottom, and you can name it whatever you want. Make sure that you name it that in English too, because if you just give it a Japanese name and not name it in English, then it will appear as null, and it is the most annoying thing ever when you open up MMD you open up a model and it just says null and you have to figure out what each and every null does so now that we have penis here we're going to add this target index is negative one well negative one do 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 stands for all material so we have just one thing here you click the little add button it adds that make sure this is negative one you're going to go down here to Material Morph, Edit, make sure you're on Multiplication, do not do Addition. It's Multiplication, you hit All Zero, OK. And that's it. Now we can go into Transform and test out to see if the morph works. I'm going to turn Physics on because that's beautiful. Oh, look at that hair. And you're going to scroll down until you see Penis or whatever you named it, <laughs> and ta -da! he can disappear now. Boop, boop. Disappearing Roman, kind of like he did in volume three. And so you go back and you save the model. And now you can open up your MMD and you can load in your model. So baddies, I'm gonna go to Roman Torchwick, Roman Torchwick, Roman Torchwick. What is this about? The white fang? Okay, and now that you have loaded in your model, you can go to penis, and ta -da, he can disappear. Disappearing Roman. Yeah, it's just a morph. It's a facial expression, apparently. I never knew that disappearing was a facial expression, but apparently people can do it. I haven't tried it myself, Sounds like it would be a very hard thing to do. Anyway, um, or I mean, you could just do the original thing and just boop. And I mean, your model's still there, but some people like the whole disappearing slider because you can kind of, you know, that. Or if you want to get super technical, you can go to boop. Make sure that you have Miku Miku effects installed effect mapping, Roman Torchwick, set effect. Now we're gonna go to, wow, I have a lot of effects. Um, there's an effect called stealth. Stealth. And that makes him disappear like 90 to 95%-ish, which I honestly think looks hideous because look at all them vertices showing through. That is, uh, that, uh. Oh, dead ass. That's like just, it's disgusting. Honestly. But, 
if you do use this effect, you can't really use shaders because you can only have one effect on them at a time. So, yeah. Not very fun. If you guys ever wanted to see Roman dance to lips are moving, now is your chance. Because your lips are moving. Your lips are moving. Oh, I just remember this model doesn't even have nails. Mm, that's right. Shake dead ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sit here. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. We're leaving. Nope, nope, nope.